The boy was bitten by a dragonfly, and black thorns began to grow on his finger. He didn't know what was happening. Next and effortlessly pulled out the sink. Didn't expect to knock down the school bully behind him. The bully looked angrily at him, and the boy wanted to explain. But he still had the sink in his hand. Then the bully threw a punch at the boy. Strangely, the bully's movements seemed slow to the boy. He easily dodged the attack. To avoid a fight, the boy left the school, and went to an alley. He wanted to figure out what was happening to him. Unexpectedly, he found that he could easily climb the wall, and even do a Thomas spin on it. This excited the boy a lot. At this moment, a truck on the road suddenly had a brake failure, and there was an old lady crossing in front of it. The boy pushed the old lady away, but he was hit by the truck himself. Incredibly, the boy was completely unharmed. It was truly unbelievable. When the boy returned home, his grandfather's hand trembled a little, and he shot a steel nail towards the boy. But the boy caught the nail. His grandfather asked in surprise how he did it, and the boy said anyone could do it. Then his grandfather directly shot at his friend. The boy confessed he had superpowers, but his grandfather didn't believe him. It wasn't until he stabbed the boy with a knife that he finally believed him. When the boy didn't know how to use superpowers, a man in a wheelchair appeared. He took the boy to a school. This is a school for superheroes. There's a wolverine with leg hair, a girl who can walk through walls, and a bald guy who shoots lasers from his eyes. There's even a storm girl who can control lightning. Seeing so many superhumans, the boy is envious. He asks the principal how he can become a superhero. Make a costume, shithead! The boy understands. He quickly returns home and starts designing his own costume. After a night of torment, Dragonfly Man is finally born. Every night, Dragonfly Man appears on top of tall buildings, where there's danger. He will be there, guarding the people in the city. He becomes the media headline, and the most popular hero. But later, a villain emerges in the city. The professor is seriously ill. In order to survive, he invents a machine, thinking the machine would cure him. But the professor undergoes a mutation. He can absorb other people's energy, and convert it into his own lifespan. But it only lasts for a day. To make a better machine, the professor attacks a laboratory, to obtain a rare material. Although the boy rushes to the lab to stop him. He gets stabbed by the professor's throwing knife. Then the professor blows up the wall and escapes. One day, the boy invites his girlfriend for dinner. Unexpectedly, the professor is a friend of his grandfather, and he also comes to the house, and discovers the boy's wound. He confirms that the boy is Dragonfly Man, to warn the boy. He disguises himself and goes to the boy's home, absorbing his grandmother's life force. This saddens the boy. He feels responsible for his grandmother's death. He becomes despondent, but thanks to his grandfather's encouragement, the boy regains his confidence. He must bring the professor to justice. However, the professor, in pursuit of immortality, designs a machine, preparing to absorb the life force of everyone in the city. The man sits in a machine and flies into the sky. He takes out a bomb from his waist and throws it towards the ceiling. The falling boulders crush the boy. Then the professor throws a throwing knife at the boy. In a critical moment, the girlfriend flies to block the fatal blow for him. When the boy escapes from the boulders, he checks and finds that the girlfriend is only lightly injured. While the professor takes the opportunity to fly away from the ceiling, he reaches the rooftop and activates the machine, preparing to absorb people's life force. As soon as the machine starts, countless beans shoot in all directions. The boy reaches the rooftop to stop it, but he gets directly blown away by the machine. To deal with the boy, the the professor takes out a sticky bomb and throws it at him. The boy catches the bomb with his hand and intends to throw it back, but it sticks to his hand. He has to use a trick, performing several backflips in a row and flipping over towards the professor. Oh, fuck! After the explosion, the boy survives, while the professor is blown into pieces, thinking that everything is over. Unexpectedly, he hears the cry for help from the girlfriend. Turns out she was blasted away by the shockwave. Then the boy jumps down as well. Although he catches the girlfriend, he realizes that he can't fly. At a crucial moment, the boy grows a pair of dragonfly wings. They successfully fly back to the rooftop, and the boy successfully protects the city. That's how it goes. The boy and the girlfriend live happily together. The movie ends here. See you next time.